Meanwhile, President Biden has signed a massive national security bill into law last week, uh, this week rather, and a provision included in the legislation could lead to a U.S. TikTok ban. The bill calls for the social media platform's Chinese-owned parent company, ByteDance, to either divest or sell off its ownership stake. If it doesn't do that, the company will be forced to cease operations here in the U.S. Lisa Guerrera is the founder of New York City-based skincare beauty startup Experiment. She's here to talk with us about how TikTok has impacted her business and about the potentially seismic effects on other entrepreneurs and content creators nationwide that rely on the platform. Welcome. Hi, it's good to have you. Yeah. So talk to us about how TikTok has impacted your business, uh, how your business has grown because of your use of the platform. Yeah, so just, you know, quick high level, like my brand is called Experiment. We're a skincare brand that's chemist founded. Me and my co-founder are both chemists. Um, and we really focus on making really effective yet ridiculously fun products that in some ways are almost made for social media in terms of their colors and their textures, right. um, yet have clinically proven results. So, um, you know, when we talk about social media and how we got started, I'm an influencer on the TikTok platform myself. Um, I was never an influencer before TikTok. I joined during the pandemic like so many other people because uh, we were all bored in our houses. <laughs> but um, as I started posting about beauty science and educating people on TikTok about skincare, I ended up gaining a following that way. Um, and it wasn't to start a skincare brand. We were already, me and my co-founder were already working on that. But it was just a huge boon to be able to have both a following as a founder of a company, making friends with other influencers on the platform. And then when we launched our brand, we were able to launch that brand without any marketing dollars needed to be spent. We had completely organic growth on the platform, purely because we made a lot of great influencer friends and people started posting about us and our products were great. So mm -hmm. TikTok is a great avenue for a lot of brands to get noticed and grow without yeah. having to play the ads game so mm -hmm. early. Yeah. So we don't know how this could all unfold, right? So it, uh, maybe TikTok could divest and stay the way it is. Maybe it will divest, but not stay the way it is. Maybe it'll divest, but it won't be the same algorithm or it won't be the same um, compensation for uh, influencers, or maybe it'll go away completely slowly, the updates will not be there, and then it'll just be sort of a crappy app. If any of that happens, how do you think that would impact you and other influencers who count on this? Yeah, I think first and foremost. Like if they change the, the, yeah. the, the algorithm. Yeah, I, I, if they change the algorithm, I think TikTok loses a certain essence about it. I think what we all feel, especially like when you're scrolling through TikTok, a lot of people say TikTok knows you. Mm. Um, and, and that's not in a kind of a nefarious way. That's more in a almost like, wow, like this algorithm is quite good. Mm. And it's able to kind of serve me content that's relevant to me. Whereas I think um, Meta, particularly Instagram, has really struggled in that regard, especially with younger people who desire aut authenticity on their social media platforms where Instagram just doesn't really feel as authentic anymore. Mm -hmm. So lawmakers are making the argument that there's concerns about user information being shared with China. I have a friend of mine who used to work in the Obama administration, and I sent her a TikTok clip, and she said, I'm not clicking on that. And I said, why not? She goes, because I've been in too many uh, classified briefings. Hmm. What do you make of that? I, I honestly think that if there's truly an issue with TikTok, that they should be sharing that with the American people, especially if they're... Uh, seeking basically with this bill to ban a platform that almost half the country uses, mm -hmm. 150 million Americans use it. Mm -hmm. And business owners and entrepreneurs, um, individual creators, people have made a living off of this platform. I think there's thousands and thousands of businesses on TikTok that would have never gotten the visibility that that they would have um, gotten on other platforms without yeah. TikTok. And I think if we're really talking about supporting small businesses, if we're talking about, um, you know, actually uh, supporting American entrepreneurs and businesses, like TikTok is one of the three big platforms that they can actually like freely advertise on YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok. Those are the big three social media mm -hmm. platforms. And if we're, we're in a social kind of commerce environment, and when you take one of those platforms off the board, you're having a huge effect on how much money entrepreneurs can make and, yeah. and what can be made, you know, in America. Yeah, it's broken down barriers. Uh, Lisa Guerrero, what's the name of your skincare line again? Experiment. Experiment. <laughs> All right. Check it out on TikTok while you can, yes, I guess. Yes, please do. Uh, Lisa, thank you so much. Thank you.